Time is simply the unit of life. It is used as a yardstick to measure mass longevity on the face of the earth. Time in itself does not really change things, but only reviews. There were times we were not here. We are here today. There will be time in the future for every living creature that we must have transcended to the great beyond. What we keep reminding generations coming after us that we once transverse this space will be indelible footprint we must have left on the sand of time. Knowing fully that life is transient, the greater use of life is to spend it on something that will outlast it. In order to encourage mortals to spend their lives on making the world better and entrenching legacies that will outlive them, I have moral obligation to celebrate those already working the glorious path of impact on humanity. This can be said of Dr. Mike Adenie Adenuga Jr. He is living out this philosophy. His life has not really been a great asset to this generation of Nigerians, in particular, and Africans in general. But we continue to bless generation coming after him. Dr. Mike Adeni Adenuga Jr., GCON, CSG, Africa's second richest man and one of the most gallanted Africans on the planet Earth. He is a business acumen, a driver of productivity, and a major employer of labor with innovative business approach and large heartedness. Innovative and economic driver, pragmatic, a solution provider, a pest sector, a strategic extraordinary, an enigma, a worldly icon, a technocrat, a credential, a mercurial businessman, a great philanthropist, a serial entrepreneur, discoverer, rise by lifting others, a humanist, and a mentor. He was born on 29th of April 1953 in Ibadan, a Christine Michael Adeni Agbolade Ishola Adenuga Jr. to a father, Oloye Michael Agbolade Adenuga Sr., who was a school teacher and a mother, Omoba Juliana Oyinda Mola Adenuga, ni Onoshile of Okeshokmi Ijebubu, was a businesswoman and hailed from a royal Ijebu family. He studied at Ibadan Grammar School in Ibadan and Comprehensive High School Ayetoro for his higher school certificate, HSC, before making the transatlantic crossing to the United States of America for his tertiary education. He graduated from Northwestern Oklahoma State University with a degree in business administration before proceeding to Pace University, New York. The story has been told of how he drove a taxi to help support himself as a student. At the age of 26, Dr. Mike Adenuga was already a millionaire who dealt in lace materials and supply of soft drinks. Few years later, at the age of 36, he has established himself as an entrepreneur of note with interest in many sectors. Dr. Mike Adenuga early successful selling less materials and soft drink was replicated in a grand manner with consolidated oil. And in time, he showed his entrepreneurial mentor by becoming one of Nigeria's most successful serial entrepreneurs with interest in banking and finance and telecommunication. He founded and developed Defcom Bank and Equatorial Trust Bank into highly profitable companies that play active role in developing the economy, public, commercial, and retail sectors. The banks were consolidated into one, Equatorial Trust Bank, and later merged with Sterling Bank PXC with Dr. Mike Adeni Adenuga Jr. as the largest shareholder. The multi-billionaire philanthropists also own the lion shares of Conan Oil, one of Nigeria's uh, largest uh, petroleum marketing businesses, True Contro Limited, the first indigenous company in Nigeria to explore, discover, and produce oil in large commercial quantity, 
with the fastest growing on-stream production activity from license award to the first production in only nine months. Conron Oil sells diesel, kerosene, low-power fuel, aviation fuel, and gasoline. It produces and markets lubricant under the Quattro brand name. It has over 1,200 retail outlets all over the country and is acknowledged as leader of development in the modern retail outlets such as mega stations and no space pumps in the new look retail outlets aside from six oil blocks in Niger Delta. Today, Globalcom is not just the second largest telecommunication operator with over 60 million subscribers. It's also among the biggest players in Nigeria and Benin Republic with footprints in Côte d'Ivoire, Gambia, and Senegal. For a man who has accumulated so much wealth and one who does not live the high fly jet set life, what does he do with his money? Those in the known describe him as a capitalist with the heart of gold, a man who likes to make money in order to give to the alleged privilege. Globalcom Nigeria's second national carrier is considered as Adenuga Cash Cow because it is the fastest growing telecommunication company in Africa with subscriber base of over 60 million and a vast network of fiber optics crisscrossing all part of Nigeria, including submarine cable that run from the United States of America to Lagos through the United Kingdom and 17 other European and African countries. In throwing his heart into the telecom ring, I think that seems clear that it was to be in the service of the common people of Nigeria who had been denied access telecom services. In putting the people's first, he was leaving a brand, the purpose of offering Nigerians a service that would help them access the information superhighway and thus place them in the pole position to rule their world. This was at the heart of the Globalcom enormous investment in the Gluan Cable, which earned the company the endearing appellation, Grandmaster of Data. Glow scratching of the same price and introduction of per second billing have since become a modern business marketing case study. But for the intelligence observers, they were statement of intent from the people-oriented uh, businessman. His recent initiative and contributions in Nigeria Telecom Revolution is our own part of the proverbial elephant we can give account of. Without the grand entrance of Dr. Michael Denuga in the foray of GXM, maybe mobile telephony services might still be exclusively reserved for the rich and the elites in the society. Nigerians and other Africans will ever be grateful to him for making the impossible possible. Before Globalcom was launched in August 2003, the two foreign mobile operators who were legacy service providers said that per second billing system was not possible. And enthusiastic Nigerians eager to explore the new world of GXM were being ripped off. Dr. Magadenuga Jr. entered into the ring, changed the game, and made the said impossible possible. Globalcon Limited became the first mobile operator to start billing its customer using per a second billing system instead of per mini billing that was obtainable, thereby crashing the exorbitant cost of making a GXM tariff. The first indigenous mobile operator chaired by the visionary and patriotic Dr. Mekadeniga Jr. also took a swipe at the high cost of SIM card and sold his own cheaper. The healthy competition brought by the Global Con Limited in the industry did not only reduce the cost of SIM cards and cost, but rather the massive rollout of telecom infrastructures across the country, of which took a telecommunication service to nook and crannies of Nigeria and beyond. Our loved ones, friends, and business partners in far flung ends of the country were brought into a global village of connectivity. The GSN revolution, ignited by Dr. Michael Denuga Jr., took the nation from pedestrian level of 
Patri, 400,000 active mobile line in 2001 to 220 million active lines today. He presided over one of the African largest business conglomerate, Mike Adenuga Group, with interests in oil and gas, telecoms, aviation, transportation, media, stability, entertainment, medicine, banking, and real estate, etc. Each of his businesses in this sector play a prominent role, helping to set pace and contributing to the growth of Nigeria economy. The companies provided a direct employment to thousands of Nigerian and nationals from other African countries and Asia, as well as millions of other indirect employment opportunities. Majority of Nigerians would not have been able to access these facilities if mobile telephony was not made affordable by the competition brought into the industry by Dr. Michael Denuga Jr. led Global Con Limited. This is truly how to live a life of impact. A lot of Nigerians can have their meeting with business partner colleagues ETC using electronic conference platform like Zoom, Skype, Microsoft Office without being physically present. Nigerians have a voice today via social media because mobile telephone and broadband services were made available and affordable to them. New media has become potent court of public opinion where the masses, the elite and the government official meet and express their opinion on burning issue without a bottleneck associated with mainstream media. Imagine Nigeria telecoms a sector without Dr. Michael Deniga Jr. It is better not imagine. The Ogun State born Trilonia entrepreneur is not only in the business to make money to, but to demonstrate a superior model of doing business that can change the course of history for good. This ideology he has proved in decades of entrepreneurship. Beyond providing Nigeria with quality and affordable telecom services, Globalcom consistently supports them to live their dream. Glo has emerged in his almost 20 years of existence as a keen patron and promoter of art and culture, but often ignore the fact that the company corporate social responsibility intervention have never been tokenistic. The intention has always been to empower, as was the case with the global sponsor battle of the year, Nigeria, which made millionaires of many Nigerian youth in 13 weeks consistently. The intervention has always been strategic and well thought out, an anchor inexorably on the people and purpose principle. His belief in Nigeria and focus on uplifting Nigerians has not gone unnoticed. He donated millions of dollars in aid of the flood victims in Bayasa State, job creations, and also several educational and religious institutions in Nigeria and Ghana, leading to his emergence as the recipients of some of the highest national honors in Ghana. Companion of the Stars of Ghana, and in Nigeria, the Grand Commander of Nigeria, which is usually reserved for the Vice President. Yet, my fellow Bologna change their personalities and hone their skin to conform to the dictates and challenges of the realities of the day. Wet has not in any way changed the personnel of Dr. Michael Denuga Jr., who remained impressively unassuming and immune to self conceit he is like a mango tree. The more fruit he bears, the lower he bows in humility. For Adenuga soldiers come with weights of humility. Indeed, Dr. Mike Adenuga fame self efficacy nature is in it, not cosmistic or contrived. That effortless determined from the publicity and frenzy that come with being one of the African wealthiest men, marveled as close Watcher, he is markedly different. He pays no heed to such artificial attention, media lavish, and argument that he is bestowed with wealth far beyond the words ascribed to him. Having recorded a series of remarkable falls in a highly competitive world of local and international commerce, there are no words for him to conquer. 
frequently likened to a champion, sometimes a business colossal. It depicts the image of a modern general of commerce. He has created a legendary brand in Globalcom, but rather than submit to the rigors and pressure of commerce, he towers in excellence, thus creating a powerhouse that Africa can be proud of. Otumba Dr. Adenuga nationalist and the patriotic position of always putting Nigeria first in his investment option, expanding opportunity for employment and business in banking, telecom, oil, and more recently focusing on empowering young generation in entrepreneurship. His sojourn on earth so far has created a landmark of achievement that will certainly outlast him. If the bull, as is fondly called, decide to retire today from the boardroom, he has done enough already that will put him in the mind and heart of several generations yet unborn. His philanthropic stride have redefined the generosity and set a new height of humanitarianism. When it comes to the entrepreneurship, Dr. Michael Demiga Jr. can be likely to a gigantic elephant with strength of a bull, courage of a lion, focus of an eagle, speed of a cheetah, wisdom of a tortoise, and humility of a dove. With these telling attributes rolled in his own uh, individual, he has always left an enduring footprint, whichever spheres of life he has chosen to transverse. He is like emblematic elephant that has different definitions for a lot of individual, conglomerates, and nation, depending on which aspect of life that it has impacted one mostly. When the COVID-19 pandemic hit, it was among the first to offer support with a sum of 1.5 billion naira donation to Lagos state government and the federal government. His Michael Denuga Foundation is the virtue which he carry out his philanthropic endeavor and giving his tribal, national, religious, and cultural secular. In the culture sector, Globalcom plays a front line role as it partners with several communities across the country to sponsor major festival and promotion of culture and tradition. This include Oji Dioba, Fexiva in Nijebode, Ofala, Fexiva in Onisha, Lishabi, Fexiva in Abeokuta, Imeri in Abriba, Oru Oweri in Imo State, Afia Olu in Inewi, and Abia Ugwa in Isiala, Ingwa in Abia State. With this innovative intervention during and three, Globalcom has empowered entrepreneurs, entertainers, sportsmen and women, cultural icons, among several others. Since it is launched, the Adenuga Own Telecom has launched a series of promo and handed out different types of appealing empowerment prizes to Nigerians across the country. Today, Nigerian stars on screen and stage have become darling of corporate Nigerian as a brand ambassador and model in advertising campaign. But many forgot that it all began in NX with Globalcom, which was deliberate and intentional in its use of actors and actresses and sundries. Nigerian entertainers are a brand ambassador. Away from entertainment, glows and uh, indelible prints have been left on the sands of Nigerian and African football from the complete sponsorship of the Nigerian and Ghanaian Football League as well as Confederation of African uh, Football, CAF. The company has over the years promoted the leading Nigerian music talent through the sponsorship of music show such as Rock and Rule, Glow Niger Sing, Laughter Facts, and X Factor. It has also 
be involved in the show Georgia Slide and Banks Concert, as well as Glow Mega Music. It's equally sponsored the Glow Evergreen Series, a music concert designed to honor successful African music icon for their outstanding contribution to African music. Similarly, Nollywood actors and other players in the industry will ever be grateful to Global.com as many of them have emerged as the Glow Ambassadors with mouth-watering duel. Lives of millions of Nigerians are possibly transformed through various uh, promos including Glow Overload, Glow Alawi, Text for Millions, Made for Life, Recharge to Stadium 180 Cars in 180 Days, Glow Cup Award Promo, Everyday Bonanza and Recharge, Win Big to Join Unlimited Extravaganza Promo ETC. Also, global cause impact in ever-growing Nigerian music industry cannot be overemphasized. Globalcom also recently brought the world biggest dance reality show, Battle of the Year to Nigeria. The winners in seven different categories went home with a mega millions in cash prices, space wagon, and the opportunity to represent Nigeria in the global competition. Global concert impacts are visible to blind and audible to the deaf. To mention a few of the intervention, the company Nilan and Eleven signed a two billion naira sponsorship agreement with Nigeria Football Federation (NFF), thus becoming the official telecommunication partners of NFF and the major sponsors of Nigeria national team. In addition. Global Com sponsored Nigerian League from 2003 to 2010 seasons. It returned 2013 when a new 1.9 billion agreement was signed, lasting up to 2016. The telecom company sponsored the annual Globcap Award, which celebrates the best of African football for over a decade, from 2005 to 2016. To further develop and empower African youth. Globalcom came up with the Glow Soccer Academy, a West African soccer TV reality show was organized to discover and train talented young footballers in the sub-region. At the end of the academy, 16 outstanding players were emerged and were rewarded with mouth-watering prizes including a 5 million era for the most valuable player and one million era each for the remaining 15 finalists. In 2009, Globalcom extended its intervention to the athletics as it splashes millions of naira on sponsorship deal with Athletic Federation of Nigeria for Lagos International Half Marathon. The education sector is not left out as the Globalcom has also continuously sponsored infrastructural development in secondary school as well as tertiary institutions in different parts of the country. As part of its support for the literary work produced by African writers, Globalcom took up the sponsorship of prestigious Wallace Yinka Prize for Literature in Africa. It is a Benin Award for the best literary work produced by an African and reward the winning author with a sum of $20,000. Every critical sector of the economy needs middle touch of Dr. Michael Denuga Jr. He has shown it in banking and finance, telecommunication, oil and gas industry respectively. His contribution to the development of the sport art and entertainment in the country and the continent cannot be erased by the caprice of time. From being conferred the Grand Commander of the Order of Niger, GCON, Nigeria's second highest national honor, in recognition of his contribution as a distinguished entrepreneur and major employer of labor in telecommunication sector by former president Goodluck Ebele Jonathan, in recognition of his outstanding contributions to the development of Nigeria, President Muhammadu Buhari has also honored him with National Productivity of Order of Merit Award. To the companion of the stars of Ghana, Ghanaian highest civilian national honor, 
to the knights of Legion of Hanon, his provision of a home for French cultural center Alain Senecoy attracted commendation from French President Emmanuel Macron, who awarded uh, him a franc the highest national honor, commandant of the legions of honor, in recognition of his contribution to the development of French Nigeria relations, his appreciation of the French culture, and also for the advancement and betterment of humanity. This honor on Dr. Mike Adenuga Jr. has blazed the tray in the business world. In conclusion, it is easy for many listening to this to ask how a man who is really seen in the public can be referred to as a man of the people. The answer is a simple one that lies an adage well internalized as a children's action speak louder than voice. Dr. Michael Denega Jr. is not a man enchanted of public adulation. My heartfelt prayer is that God will continue to grant him the wisdom of King Solomon, strength of warrior David, and understanding of administrator Daniel. My wish, Nigeria needs Dr. Mike Adenuga Junior School of Entrepreneurship where entrepreneurs can be mentored to step into the big shoe. The bull is leaving behind as the world in an enduring legacy. The best way to honor this outstanding and excellent man is to inscribe his name and achievement on the marble of history for posterity. The reward for hard work is more work. Thanks and God bless.